Hey guys, welcome back. I do apologize for the last section. I don't know what happened, but um, the recording just cut off right in the middle while I was recording it. <laughs> so that means I was talking to myself. Great stuff, right? Okay, great. Anyway, uh, let's talk about this where keyword. It's quite important for us to understand this because um, later on in this series, we are going to run some very complex queries and that will come very handy, right? Um, so you can pass, you know, uh, quite a few things to this where keyword. So the, um, another way of writing this query would be, if I were to say that give me, um, uh, if I can sp just specify a column and a value and I can, if I omit the operator, it is intelligent enough to understand that, look, you know, I've got two values. So that means that really, um, um, I should put the equal sign, right? Where last name is equal to very i don't have to specify is equal to right i can also say i can chain right i can say that give me the first name which is equal to car right conveniently available to us here so if i were to run that great we've got only one record but i can simplify this i can still sort of so what i can do is i can pass in array like this if I can do it correctly, so if I can pass it on like that, and I, yeah, okay, great. So what we're saying that um, I want to run a query in actor, and I'm giving it two conditions, but rather, you know, um, in one go. Right, and it, it just cleans up your code quite a bit. You know, when you have a lot of conditions, it's quite helpful. And again, we are omitting the equal sign um, intentionally because it will understand that you know uh, we it will assume that we need uh, we main the equal sign. So if I were to run this query, I should get the same result. Great. Okay. Now another way would be that it also accepts a closure, which is like a function, right? I can pass in a function, and in this function, I have query available to me. Now I can say query where, and it doesn't make sense in, I mean, in here, but um, it's quite powerful um, way of doing it because later on it's going to come quite handy. So just remember that you can also pass a closure or rather a function um in the where clause um and i can say barry and i should by any luck get the all results back oh column not found so oh so obviously i just need to remove that there we go great so these are a few different ways of um using the where keyword uh, as i said it will come very handy later on um and hopefully we'll be able to touch on some other methods like where in where between and you know uh, those conditionals but hopefully later on okay so now um uh, let's move on and do something a bit more interesting right so let's do this we want what we want to do is let's write it down first to ourselves that we want to list the last names of actor or actors so we want to list the last names of actors but then at the same time we want to count the number of times last name is being shared right so this is the query we want to um, run on the database great okay so let's start so first of all i will get select the last name count i'll get the count from the table right of everything as actor count i'll call this column as an actor count and that should come back from the table actor we will group by um, last name 
So that means if I were to run this query, there we go. Okay, so we've got the last names listed out and also how many times that last name is being used uh, by different actors in the table. Great. But if you look at it here, so we've got three, three, and then carry on and they will oh there is a four and five now what we want to do is we want to order it right so we will order it by act account and we will order it by you know in descending manner right so if i were to run this there we go so that's what we wanted the if you look at it kilmer is now uh, so the count, the number of time Kilmer surname is being used by actors the five, and Temple four, and so on. Uh, just to double check for sanity check, uh, let's see if that is the correct query run. So um, we will say that select all from actors where last name is equal to. Kilmer right and let's see what happens there we go one two three four five great so we you know that's just for the sanity check um, but we've got the correct results back let's back let's come back to oops uh, the query that we want to run and there we go what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring this over to my editor right and let's Oh, by the way, guys, if you want to uh, have access to, uh, you know, these, um, to the code, um, I can certainly push it out to GitHub or I can share it with you some, in some other ways. Just let me know in the comment, right? Um, okay, so let's start. Um, again, it's, we are running this query on the table actor. So uh, we've specified the table now. What we want to do is um, we will select, right? So we will select the last name and we will count, right? So this bit here, that count all as actor count. Let's do this. I will pass it on as a raw query and i will just copy this there we go great so now that we have selected these two fields we want to group it, group them by last name but at the same time i want to order them by um, actor count and that should be in descending order ah yeah so once I group them and order them then I should just get the results back right so let's see with any luck there we go so these are the results exactly in the same manner as we had it in the SQL um, or the raw SQL that we ran all right so this will be it for this lesson and I will see you all in the next lesson